Hey there and welcome back. I know it took a long time to make a new video, but it's worth it because in the next following weeks and months there will be again exciting project on this channel. And we're starting today with this third installment of the coil spring powered bow. It is also a follow-up uh, on the coil spring powered crossbow which was so popular on this channel. So yeah, without uh, much further ado, let's start shooting a bit and then I explain a bit more about this thing. So I have to work on my aim though. Alright, so next I want to hit this bottle um, with these arrows, which have uh, only blunt tips, so not the best for penetration. But I guess this bottle will not pose much of an opponent for this anyway. If I can hit it. Fifty-one. Right, let me give you some numbers of, uh, on this thing. So the weight increased a little bit compared to the um, Mark II version of the bow, which weighed, I think, 1.2 kilograms. And this weighs 1.9, so it's a little bit heavier. Still not heavy by any means, very light. Um, the overall dimensions are comparable. I think uh, the length, I designed it to be exactly the same as the old one. So as you can see, it's not huge, not super tiny either, but uh, yeah, quite handy actually. Um, as you've seen, the speed uh, with the arrows I have here was uh, 50 meters per second, 51. And that translates uh, with these bolts, uh, which are a little bit heavier than the crossbow bolts I used for the crossbow, to an energy of uh, around uh, 44 joules. So. Um, yeah, there's actually like uh, more than double the energy uh, compared to the crossbow, which uh, exceeded my expectations actually, because I didn't thought uh, that introducing this uh, cam system would improve the efficiency that much. Um, and the speed, of course, uh, even with the heav heavier arrows, improved by another, what's, what's that, 25 or 30 percent or so. So yeah, I'm quite satisfied with uh, these numbers actually. So the springs of this bow are the exact same as uh, on the crossbow, Colspin Ford crossbow, and also the same as with the last version of the bow. So um, with maximum draw, they pull with around 60 kilograms each. So 120 kilograms in total. And uh, over the compound system, the draw weight when I draw it at the very end, like right now, is 18 kilograms. So, I mean, it's not super easy, but uh, you can comfortably hold this for quite some time and aim. Um, yeah. 
and uh, that's the key numbers of this thing, of this bow. So you've seen the speed increase from uh, 40 uh, meters per second for the crossbow to over 50 with this one, despite heavier arrows and an energy increase of over 100% from like 20 to uh, what was it 44 joules. And uh, without explaining too much and too long, how was this possible? So <laughs> basically, I think the main reason comes from the cam system. First. These wheels, these cams, are much lighter than the ones uh, from the crossbow. I think maybe each uh, weighs like half or so of one of the crossbow wheels. And also this cam system itself is what improves the efficiency of the bow by quite a lot. It's not so easy to explain within like 30 seconds or a minute. So if you're interested uh, to know how exactly this works and why it's much better than the circular wheels, let me know and I will make a video. Um, because I, I'm, I'm honest, in the beginning, uh, when I started this project, I didn't really quite understand it, understand it either. So, but when working on it, I, I think I got it. <laughs> and yeah, I'm glad to explain uh, if you like to. So just a very short version on how this works. Basically, the springs, just like with the crossbow, um, wrap up uh, on a very small wheel here. And the main string wraps up uh, on this very large wheel. So basically the, the principle behind it is uh, mechanical, using mechanical advantage. Because the springs, of course, when fully extended, have a lot, much higher draw weight than what I feel when I draw it out. So that's the mechanical advantage right there. And then these strings here in the middle, uh, the whole purpose behind these is uh, the synchronization between the two uh, sides between the two wheels because uh, if you've seen my last videos on the coil spring powered crossbow you noticed or I noticed the issue that the wheels were not synchronized and I was thinking that maybe this was producing uh, inconsistencies uh, while shooting and in inaccuracies. Um, I'm not yet uh, super sure if this bow is uh, better regarding the accuracy because I have not shot it yet uh, on high, dis high distances, maybe for another video. But at least I know now that these wheels are always synchronized. Because when building this thing, I first tried without synchronization. And for a hand-drawn hand bow, it doesn't really work. Because you don't really grab it perfectly in the middle. So if, for instance, if I grab it here and pull, of course I would Without synchronization, I would pull the upper wheel first. And with synchronization, both of them get pulled at the same, or rotate at the same rate. And that's uh, a huge difference, I think, for um, accuracy. That's basically the main principle behind the system. And of course, this thing here in the middle, the whole purpose of this is to keep the synchronization strings a little bit uh, under tension because otherwise they just flap around a little bit and it looks a bit weird. Yeah, and I think that also helps with preventing wear and tear on the strings if they flop around. Oh, so close. Yes. Got him. <laughs> yes. I think let's do that one more time. This thing is not uh, yet done. So when building this thing, I had a couple of points uh, in mind, which I uh, wanted to realize with this. 
a main critique point where with the old uh, cold spring powered bow with the second version was that it looked a bit crude and uh, not really nice. So yeah, just improving how it looks was a key point uh, on my agenda. And I think I managed to do that. I mean, you could still argue about taste, etc. But I think it looks quite nice. Much better than the old one anyway. A second goal of mine was to use the system from the cold spring powered crossbow and improve it via using these non-circular wheels or these cams. And uh, I think I did that quite successfully. The third goal, third main goal was to well increase the power and energy, of course. And uh, very, very specifically, the number I wanted to reach was an arrow speed of 50 meters per second. And with the 51 measured over the crony, <laughs> I reached that quite perfectly, actually. So, uh, yeah, the main goals uh, were uh, all fulfilled, I would say. And apart from that, I wanted to add some minor improvements, like uh, with the um, whisker biscuit or whatever you call this, uh, this opening on the side, so small improvements like that. And uh, yeah, in the end, it's not perfect, of course. There's always things I could improve. For instance, uh, this upper string here, I don't know if you can see that. It shaves a bit uh, on the wheel when I pull on the bow. So over time, this will wear down and eventually tear. So I guess to improve them upon that, I would need to improve the wheels a little bit further. But for now, that's okay. Yeah, and some mi other minor improvements, for instance, the weight distribution uh, on the second uh, Colson powered bow actually was a little bit better because the springs were in front of the grip. Um, and that gave a little bit, uh, a bit nicer weight distribution. So, I mean, this is not heavy, heavy at all, very nimble, but still the other one felt a little bit more swift and nimble. Yeah, but that's really minor things. All in all, I'm really quite satisfied with this. Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, if you like this thing, I should do more like this. I mean, I will do it more like this anyway. <laughs> but uh, yeah, let me know what you think. And um, yeah, thanks for watching and see you next time.